Hello friends, welcome here or welcome back to another video. My name is Sarah if you're new here and I'm so happy to have you join us today. Any of you who have watched my more recent videos, you will probably know that I've been house hunting for the past two months-ish and it has been quite the journey and quite taxing, but I'm so so thrilled to say that me and my partner have found a place and we will be moving in together in the next week or so. So as of right now, I have about a week to get my life together and packed into boxes and ready to go. I'm working quite a lot of the next few days. So I've got today and I've got lots of evenings this week in order to get things sorted. So today and right now, I would like to tackle the living room and mainly the spaces that I'm not going to be using. So for right now, I'm gonna leave my kind of mini art studio, my art desk, because there is painting that I am working on currently. And I would love to say that I'm gonna get some chance to paint in the evenings so fingers crossed that happens and if not that whole area is usually pretty easy to pack up anyway so today I would like to make a start here in the kitchen I've already started by taking down the fairy lights that ran the whole way around the ceiling and um, so they are already down and if I get time I would also really like to make a start on the kitchen kind of the things that I'm not using day to day certain dishware and um, certain gadgets that I won't be using, things like that, just bits and bobs that I can start making a move with. And over the next few evenings, I will take you along as I go through and get my life together, as well as having hopefully not too stressful a week. I think I'm gonna go see some friends as well. So it is technically a moving vlog, but also I am just continuing to live life and you'll probably see quite a bit of that too. So grab yourselves a drink right now. It is very hot where I am. So I'm having a cold glass of water, but grab yourself a tea, a coffee, water, whatever you fancy, and let's spend some time together. And for right now, let's get cracking with packing things into boxes. <laughs> It's the next day or a couple of days since I filmed the clip before this, but I'm feeling quite sleepy. It's just gone half seven, I finished dinner and I thought now would be a good time to do a small job on my packing list, which is to pack these bookshelves down. I've got three boxes, which I'm hoping will fit onto these shelves so that once they're packed, it can all fit nice and snugly away instead of taking up too much space in the flat. I just want to get this done this evening and yeah, let's get packing. Good morning friends, it is a couple of days since I last checked in with you and today is going to be a major packing day. The first thing on my agenda this morning is to take out the insane amount of recycling because it has just piled up over the last few days with decluttering, I have my mum's day for a few days and with, you know, with an extra person in the flat that always comes with just a little bit more to keep on top of, but I've let it get out of control a little bit. So that's the first thing that I want to tackle this morning. And then I have a bit of sorting in my bedroom that I want to get done today. So because my bedroom is quite small, I have a lot of stuff stored underneath the bed. And this is stuff 
stuff that doesn't need to be accessed super frequently. It's out of season clothing, extra toiletries, bedding, linens, etc. things like that. So I think today I want to tackle that. And then I'm also going to go through some other parts of my bedroom today. That's my real zone, I suppose, for today. I want to go through and declutter the bedside drawers that I have in there. So without further ado, let's get cracking. I've just finished taking everything out from underneath my bed. And the amount of dust bunnies that are underneath there is absolutely vile. So I'm very quickly <laughs> gonna sweep that up and get that out of my bedroom because it's really grossing me out. <laughs> I'm feeling more overwhelmed than I thought I would be. Um, I feel like the hardest thing with anything that's a big project, the hardest thing is the starting element. It feels so overwhelming when you see everything amassed together. I'm gonna try and take it one step at a time and just cut compartmentalize and just compartmentalize one thing at a time. There are certain things which like this bag are pretty much already packed. I can just add extra things into it. There goes the door. Other things need to be taken out and packed into boxes for safer transport. So I'm just gonna go through it one step at a time and try not to put too much pressure on myself. Let's see what we can do. <laughs> of errands I wanted to go and get some poly filler for the walls I'm gonna take down my art pieces I think a little bit later on um, so I can fill in all the little holes they're only teeny tiny so it won't take me super long but I would like to do that tonight just to check to see if I need to get anything else and I think that'll be fine the holes are really small and quite a few bits are held up with command strips but for right now I'm going to tackle one of my bedside tables. I don't know if I'm gonna have time to do both of them. Um, it is four o'clock or just about four o'clock and I'm gonna start making dinner as well relatively soon. I'm gonna take about an hour now I think to get as much as I can done and we will go from there. I've changed into my comfy clothes and I'm ready for action. Good morning friends, it is the next day and it is another 
very gloomy grey day outside which is the perfect weather to be honest because otherwise I would want to be outside instead of packing all of this up. <laughs> so today I want to finish off in the bedroom. I've got everything on the back of the door to pack. The bookcase is already packed away and then I'm going to go through fold all these clothes up and everything in this chest of drawers. I've just gone through and put aside all the clothes and everything that I need for the next couple of days. There's only three three days there's only a few days left until i'm out of here anyway so i've just put to the side what i'm gonna need and everything else can get packed and put away and then that'll be the room completed i also would like to finish up the walls so i did the poly filler um it's filled it really easily but obviously it's standing out quite a lot it's not white um so i'm gonna figure that out uh, sand this down and then paint over it and yeah, let's get cracking. I've been saving till the very last minute because obviously I need to use the stuff in my kitchen to eat and live. There's kind of a lot of stuff to pack but I feel like it's going to be hopefully quite simple. I made myself a coffee and I think the best thing to do is just get started without thinking too hard about it. I think I'm just going to get everything out of the cabinets and start sorting so that I can start thinking about the size of box that I need because I also need to lift it. This is the thing with kitchen stuff in particular. I always want to put it in just like three big boxes, but realistically, I can't lift those big boxes. So we're about to get creative and see what we can do. But yeah, this feels like the final push. it is much later now I've just been steadily working my way through everything else on my packing to-do list so I've made great progress with the kitchen everything is packed up now pretty much other than just some food items that I need to do in a little bit but oh my gosh you guys I have so much stuff I don't know where it's all come from <laughs> was not expecting ignore this stuff here ignore the stuff right behind it I had no idea. All of this up until here. All of the this. That's so much stuff. And also I'm quite a small person. So I've packed all of these boxes so that I personally am able to lift all of them. I reckon when my boyfriend comes to help me move tomorrow that uh, he'll be able to lift like two to three at once good for him. <laughs> I've still probably got about two more boxes to go. They're quite small boxes but just one for things in my bathroom which I will be needing to use until tomorrow and another box or bag full of food items and then that is me that's me done. I've also spent a bit of time today just cleaning the flat so that it's a much easier job for me to do tomorrow. So everything's had a good clean and then after I move tomorrow, I should hopefully just need to do 
just another little sweep of all of the floors and we should be good to go because I don't want to leave this place a mess for my housemate and uh, for the next girl who will be moving into my room. So I am going to continue on doing the last few bits before I relax for a little bit this evening. I'm going to do some reading. My Wi-Fi has been cut off because I'm the person in charge of the Wi-Fi and I needed to cancel it so that I currently have no internet, haven't had any today. It's been quite nice actually, it's just meant that I've been able to focus on doing the jobs that I need to do. But yeah, I'm going to wind down this evening with a good book that um, I've been dying to start reading and I will see you tomorrow for moving day. It's moving day! <laughs> it feels so wild to be saying that. I've just spent this morning having a really nice relaxing morning. I made myself a coffee, enjoyed being in bed before I had to take all the covers off for good of this bed. And yeah, I've just been cleaning, I've been tidying, I've been, you know, doing boring tasks like cleaning out the fridge and the freezer. And I'm starting to feel so excited, a little bit nervous, and I'm feeling a little bit emotional as well because, you know, this is something that you dream about, being able to move in with someone that you are so in love with and getting to build a home together and it was so stressful finding this place but this place is so perfect I can't wait to show you all I just can't believe it's happening and I can't believe it's happening to me and yeah I just I'm feeling very emotional this morning I'm so full of gratitude for the flat that I'm in right now and how much this space has meant to me over the past two years and how much I've loved living with my friend Jamie I love you if you're watching um, you've just made this the most wonderful time living here. I'm going to go and meet George, my partner, and we are going to hang out for about half an hour before we make our way to the new flat together. I'm so, so excited. So with that, I am going to leave the vlog here. This is part one. I think I'm not sure how many parts of this I'm going to do of this little moving saga. So thank you so much for sticking around. If you've seen any of my previous videos, thank you for your lovely words of encouragement whilst I was flat and house hunting. Thank you so much for those. Yeah, I'm just gonna go and enjoy being in this wonderful flat for another hour or so before all of this change begins. As ever, thank you so much for being here. Take care and I will see you very soon in another video. Goodbye friends.